Bunny, my friend. Yes. Before we really get started with this week's show, I just wanted to address the financial status of this podcast, The Pope on Film. Oh, yeah. Okay. The financial status are, are, of this show. Are we done yet? <laughs> no, no. Let me explain. So in one of our earliest episodes of the show, like, like back when we were still doing this over the phone, like primitive savages. Yes. In fact, I believe it was our victory through air power episode. I'm not exactly sure because, again, we don't have a historian. Uh, I, I, I was acting a bit quiet in that episode, a bit contemplative, contemplative. Yes. So, Bunny, I remember you said, a penny for your thoughts, Madam Frankenstein, which was one <laughs> of your early, which was one of your early catchphrases. That's one of the things that I liked. About, you know, maybe like the first 30 or 40 episodes, you were always trying out catchphrases. Like some of my yeah. favorites are, uh, of course, a penny for your thoughts, Madam Frankenstein. That was a good one. Yeah. Um, you you, you, need, you dropped the pork was a big one. Yeah, that's another, that's another one. I need to slap a bucket. Yeah. That was mm -hmm. another one of yours. That was uh, a good one. Yeah. Oh, one of my favorites is... Uh, uh, you're giving me the grandma sweats. <laughs> I really liked that one. I'm, I'm not, I, I'm still to this day, not sure what the grandma sweats were, but it sounds like something you don't want to get. No, you don't want to get the grandma sweats. Oh, and of course my, my absolute all time favorite catchphrase of yours in the beginning. Don't make me jerk off a penguin again. <laughs> You had so many catchphrases in the early days of the Pope on Film podcast. Can and yeah, and, and that one, and that one, I, I used to, I used to, I used to sound like really upset. That was like, you know, yeah. but like I didn't mind, you know, was, yeah. you know, and it made the penguins happy, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Can you remember any of the other catchphrases from your early days there on the on the show? Uh, what were some of the other ones? that you used to say never accept a wet pickle from a drunken pirate that was a good one yeah. that was a good and one. solid advice really if you think about it yeah you know uh yeah. let's see there was also um you're making my tongue portuguese <laughs> that was another really good one yeah yeah, that was a that was a very good one. Portuguese, yeah. Mm -hmm. What does that have to do with grape slime? That yeah. was it. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So you said a penny for your thoughts, Madam Frankenstein, and so I told you what was on my mind, and then it made you cry. Yeah, and then I remember we both just ended up crying uninterrupted for thirty-seven and a half minutes, and that was the episode that won us the Peabody. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We won the Peabody for that. Oh, no, wait, no, it's not the Peabody. What was the name of the other award? What's the name of the other award? It's not the Peabody. Uh, the Pulitzer, uh, but you, it, you the were... Sherman. It, was, it wasn't It was It was the Peabody, it was the Sherman. The Sherman. It was the Sherman. It was the Sherman. Uh, but Bella, you did not come up with something funny. I actually wrote that in here. If anything, you're psychic. If anything, you're psychic, because you guessed my joke. Yes, Maxwell? Uh, oh, a catchphrase? Yeah. Oh, oh, what's a catch? Come here, Maxwell. Well, what's another good catchphrase? <laughs> That's another really good catchphrase. Not sure how you'd spell that, though. Yeah, after, I'm expecting at least one silent letter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But then afterwards, Bunny, I held you to your word and outright demanded that you pay me that one cent that I was promised. <laughs> and you said no. And that led to a costly year long court battle uh -huh. that ended up costing me about five figures, but it, it was worth it because about 14 months later, I finally was paid yeah. my one cent, but it wasn't about the one cent. That's what I kept saying to my wife as she was throwing things at me. It's not about the one cent, Bunny, and I hope that you can forgive me for the 14-month-long legal battle that we waged. 
Eh, it wasn't. Eh, it was all right. Okay. The fact that we're still doing the show after our costly court battle just shows how damn professional we are. Exactly. And of course, and of course, we didn't, we didn't, we haven't talked about it up until now because of legal reasons and uh, court briefs, gag orders, and, yeah, or boxer shorts, court court thongs. You know how court thongs are. Um, so damn sexy they are. Yeah, yeah. So there's been a lot of questions regarding what actually happened with that scent. Well, well, I think that now enough time has passed, he sighs in parentheses, that I can finally tell the story of what happened to that penny. Oh, okay. So that, it was That's a summer, good update. Yeah. So it was the summer of 2016. <laughs> at the, Bella, can you not screen the baby sleeping? It was the summer of 2016 and a 14-month-long court case that cost my family upwards of $27,000 finally paid off, and I was awarded one cent. So, of course, of course, I wanted to invest yes. the pen. You know, because that just, that just made sense. So I did some research, and I learned about a brand new thing in, in the 2013, 2016, a brand new thing called Bitcoin. Uh-huh. So I put my one cent into Bitcoin in two, summer of 2016, and by summer of 2017, I had 8.6 billion dollars. Nice. I was that Bitcoin is a good investment. Yeah, I was rich. Honey. I done struck it rich, and six months later, I lost it all. Most of it all. How you might ask? How did Bella just give him the remote? How, how you might ask. Well, I lost it on account of that legendary duo that has taken down many a rich man. I lost all my riches on hookers and blow, Bunny. Yes. Hookers mm. and blow. The that. same duo that took down Captain Kangaroo. Hookers and blow. <laughs> very, very sad. What happened to, uh, what happened to, to, Bozo the Clown, hookers and blow, mm -hmm. has taken down many a righteous man. Yes. So I lost all my riches. Well, well, um, I didn't lose all my riches, as I said. I still have three cents left. Oh. And God damn it, that's three times more than what I had at first. So that's a big win for Team Pope on Phil. Yes, it is. And Bunny, I feel bad about the court case that I put you through, so I've decided to get the three cents that I won in the Bitcoin trade, and just give those three cents back to the to the to the podcast. So, Bunny, long story short, yeah, we have a budget now. Oh, three cents. I think that'll go. I'm how many? How many? Uh, how many? Uh, uh. Facebook views do you think we could get for three cents? Um, one one hundredth of a view. Nice, nice. If anything, if anything, for three cents, like it'll it it'll turn an ad for the Pope on film into a into a hidden subconscious message. Yes. Tyler Durden and penises. You're just going to be watching a video about uh, Trump and Putin, and then there's just going to be a flash of Bob for <laughs> one millisecond in it, and people are going to be all uncomfortable. <laughs> That's going to be awesome. We're going to have to work on this. <clears throat> so, Bunny. Yes. How are you? How are you and yours? How are you doing? Are you doing good? Hanging on, hanging on. The car's in the shop. Uh, so it's a big pain in the ass. Um, seeing a lot of doctors. Uh, Good. Um, hate my landlord. Uh, C I L L, my landlord. Uh, nice. Yeah, that's about it. That's it's it's Jeannie's birthday today, and that totally sucks. 
Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Oh, well, this is a sucky time to uh, have your car not working. Well, we don't have money to do anything anyway, but then she also got stuck having this meeting at work. So she yeah. won't wind up getting home until like nine. That sucks. Yeah. Well, well, my family life is just crazy right now, primarily because of my wife. She is super stressed out. She's super uh, nervous. It's all because of the fact. And uh, let me just tell you why. She is so jealous right now. Yeah. My wife, so crazy jealous. Of who? Of uh, of me and of various women out there. Ah. See, I mean, I've been getting these emails from these women who totally want me. Maxwell, I see you doing the dance. If you need to go potty, go potty. YouTube can be paused. Go to the bathroom. There's no bowel movement that that... There's no YouTube video that's more important than a bowel movement. Right? Bella? I believe that's in the Constitution. Yeah. So anyway, I've been getting these emails from women who are all over me and totally want to bang me. And it, my wife uh, obviously read the, and now she's crazy jelly. Yeah. Like, here's here's an email I got from, from a woman named Kate. Uh, let's see. Here it is. Hi, sexy boy. You are just my type. I am hot for you. Babe, click here and we can start the hot, steamy action, big boy. <laughs> and then and then there's a link to a Russian website. This woman, Kate, totally wants me. Yeah. Totally wants to start banging me. And, Here's another email. And I could see Tasha's reason for fearing. Yeah. Here's another email I got from a woman named Sasha. Yeah. Hey there, you are just my type. I am hot and steamy for you. Click here and we can hot the start the hot grinding action, big boy. And then a <laughs> Russian, and then a Russian web address. So this woman Sasha wants me. I think this woman Sasha wants me even more than this Kate. Yeah. Woman in the beginning. So a lot of women, you know, totally wanting me. Here's another email I got from a woman named Svetlana. Svetlana. Uh, hey, yes, yeah, Svetlana. Hey there, sexy guy. You are just my type. I am hot and horny for you. Horny spell, bro. Click here and we can start the hot, steamy, grinding action, big boy, and then a Russian web address. So all of these women totally want me. Yeah. And, and uh, it's obvious, you know, that, that they want a taste of vitamin S. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they want to bit in that Latino heat, so uh, it's obvious that my wife is a bit jealous. It's weird too. All of these emails went directly to my spam folder. That's weird, right? That is weird. It just happens sometimes where you get an email you don't mean to get. You know, it just goes into the spam folder accidentally. Anyway, yeah, bit weird. Bit weird. 